virtual uh, conference with uh, legal counsel anticipating All right. So at this point, we'll go ahead and um, open up the uh, first program that we have uh, on the agenda, and that is the uh, actual uh, agency. Uh, excuse me. If I go there, I just uh, Deputy City Clerk, do we have? Any, for, I am opening up the public communication. Do we have anyone that is wishing to speak? We did not receive any for the five o'clock. Okay. All right. So at this point, the Deputy City Clerk uh, Lulu has indicated that we did not receive uh, any letters or anyone uh, wishing to speak on uh, uh, public communication. For All right. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy City Clerk. All right. So at this point, uh, we'll go ahead and go into uh, Mr. Shannon Yatsi. We'll go ahead and. Uh, thank you, Mayor, and um, we have a presentation tonight on the CIP budget. Um, everything here is special funds. Um, we've reduced um, the budget a little bit, um, but we've also um, gone ahead with some projects to improve the infrastructure throughout the city. A lot of it is public works. We've got some parks projects and some PD. Uh, so Public Works Director Sam Gutierrez is going to take the lead. and. Um, uh, Manny Carrillo and, and Chris Hofford will also be here if there's questions on their projects. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. So at this point, we'll go over to Mr. Gutierrez. Uh, good evening, Mr. Gutierrez. Do we have Manario? Uh, Mark, do we know we have Mr. Gutierrez online? How about now? Can you hear me now? Sorry, I had my microphone off. That's fine. That's fine, buddy. Okay, go for it. Hi, good evening, Mayor um, and members of the City Council. I have a short uh, presentation on this year's uh, or uh, the five-year capital improvement program. So uh, this is the capital improvement program budget for fiscal years 2020 through 2025. So just to give you a short uh, summary, the proposed budget for the five-year capital improvement program uh, commences July 1st, 2020 uh, through June 30th, 2025. And that budget is uh, just about $20 million. Uh, this includes uh, carryover projects from prior CIP projects that are already in progress. Uh, the current fiscal year 20, 21 uh, budget for the capital improvement program is uh, just slightly over $18 million. Um, I've attached a couple of pictures here to highlight some of the projects that were completed in uh, 1920. Um, uh, the park signs at the teen center is up and operational. Um, I've also had Main Avenue complete streets phase two, both uh, phase 1A and 1B of that project are now complete. Um, also, the CNG uh, station at Ramon and Badillo, that is nearing completion, so it should be operational soon, but it was a 20, it was a 1920 project, and um, here's the uh, marquee at Morgan Park, which we're very proud of, and also I wanted to show and highlight uh, what we've done in terms of remodeling uh, the second floor at City Hall. So these are projects that were uh, completed, none of these are being carried over. So just to compare uh, fiscal year uh, 1920 to the current, uh, to the new year to 2021, um, I broke, broke this down by department. And as you can see, um, Public Works does have the largest share of the budget in the CIP um, in uh, 1920. Uh, that was followed by recreation and police. Uh, administration had a few projects, most uh, all of their projects are complete. Uh, community development, uh, and I'll go into more detail on the projects a little bit, but community development uh, had one project and that project is being carried over. But I wanted to highlight that uh, about $11 million are being moved over in terms of uh, the CIP carried over to this year uh, um, from 1920 to 2021. So out of, out of the entire budget for this year, $11 million is projects and funds carried over. So not many uh, new projects this year. Um, I do want to highlight that last year we did have some general fund uh, that was tied to the second floor remodel project, but that project is not complete. So this year uh, we have no uh, general fund being used in the CIP. 
So here um, is a, just sort of kind of like a spreadsheet. This was provided in the packets, but uh, administration, as I said, um, they completed all the projects and they didn't add any projects for, for this year. Uh, this, uh, there is a project there that is shown uh, for low mod housing. Uh, there was a server that was supposed to be installed there, but that's been completed, so it'll come off. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, community development did have one project. This is the uh, permitting software system for um, you know, upgrading our permitting system to an all new um, electronic tracking system. And that project is being carried over and we are adding some funds to it this year, but it will be completed in this current year. So here's the police department. Uh, this is the list of their projects. And um, as you can see, they, they completed some of the projects, the radio, the radio uh, system that's been completed. I think there's only um, the public works portion there for our radios uh, left uh, to be done. Um, I do want to highlight in PD, I want to highlight their uh, new projects. Hopefully that's easier to see. So these are the new projects that they're um, adding to, to this year. Um, uh, body and vehicle cameras, uh, 100,000. So that's currently shown here uh, to be funded by um, their development impact fees, but, and um, Chris Offer can speak to this um, more, but I think uh, at the time when they move forward with the project, they're going to be using uh, AB 74 funds there. So um, also they're going to be replacing the uh, battery backup unit. They're using development impact fees for that. Um, and they're using the AB 74 uh, money to get uh, new software for the use of force tracking and early warning detection software. And finally, uh, they're going to be leasing uh, five new police vehicles, and that there's going to be using uh, federal asset forfeiture funds. Moving on to um, public works. So we have a lot of projects, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we have the lion's share of, of projects and, and funding uh, in this uh, CIP, but there's a lot of projects. But uh, this slide shows. All of the projects that were, all of the projects on this slide are, are projects that are being carried over. But I do want to um, draw your attention to two projects. Um, so the downtown improvement projects that that was um, under design last year, but now it's out to bid, and the bid will open uh, on Monday. Uh, so we're looking forward to to that bid opening and seeing what we get in terms of contractors, but. I wanted to highlight here that um, we're adding the construction funds to that project. So here you can see we're adding some construction funds for that. Um, and that'll come back to the council when it's um, ready to be awarded. Also, I do want to talk about the uh, Metro uh, Link Wide Zones project. That, that project is moving along. The first uh, crossing that's going to be improved is the Pacific Avenue uh, crossing by the by here by city hall and the metro link station uh that project will be moving forward this year and we're hoping uh to start somewhere in january moving on so here's more projects uh, on this slide i do want to highlight uh, two projects as well here uh the first mile last mile project that project is tied to the downtown improvement project so this is uh, the, the first project that I mentioned before, the downtown improvements, that's for all the upgrading of the crosswalks, traffic signals, um, and street lights. The first mile, last mile brings uh, to the same project, brings um, to the, to the uh, beautification, it brings uh, the, um, the benches, uh, sidewalk improvements, and uh, safety improvements to the uh, transit station. So we're very excited about that project. Also, uh, Morgan Park, that project, that project has been out to bid and has been awarded um, and uh, construction will be starting in August. Moving on, uh, more projects on this project. I just wanna highlight that um, in terms of new projects, projects that are not being carried over or um, projects from last year that we're adding funds to, uh, we, we have uh, two new projects that we're adding. 
to this fiscal year. So uh, the first project is the drainage improvements at Foster Avenue. Uh, this is a crossing. This is a pedestrian only crossing. Um, this project, uh, the improvements to the crossing is part of the safe, uh, of the quiet zone project. However, uh, there are some drainage improvements and we've received a lot of complaints over the years uh, that it floods at that cul-de-sac on uh, Blockburg. So this is to improve um, that drainage situation, but also it is required as part of the quiet zone. So we're using some quiet, uh, quiet zone funding, the, the uh, proceeds, the measure and bond proceeds to, to complete that project. Now, um, I mentioned earlier that we've completed um, the north portion of Main Avenue to complete streets. We did that in two phases. Uh, we did skip the intersection at Olive and Main. And that was because at one time uh, we were contemplating putting a roundabout there. But, you know, after um, talking to the community and council direction, we eliminated the roundabout and now, um, we're going to be improving that signal. So we're looking at starting design for that. So we may look at some decorative street uh, traffic signals or uh, traditional traffic signals. We don't know yet, but um, so that we can complete the entire stretch uh, of Main Avenue on, on that end. Moving on, uh, community, recreation and community services. Uh, most of their projects, as, as you can see on this slide, um, are being carried over. I do want to draw your attention to one project on this slide. This is the um, community center meeting room, uh, meeting room one and meeting room two. This is partition replacement. This is a carryover project. It had um, $65,000 uh, funded last year, but uh, this year uh, they are, um, we are adding uh, 225,000 to complete that project. None. So here I just want to highlight uh, the new projects that were added to the CIP uh, this year. Uh, the first project is a replacement of the gym sound panels and wall carpet. Uh, that's uh, 225,000. Uh, second project uh, replaces uh, game room area sound panels. And then they're also doing a urethane a uh, top coat at Morgan Park for the rubberized playgrounds. All of these projects are gonna be funded uh, by Quimby. So that's pretty much a, a summary of all of our projects. Um, we would like to, to thank all of the department heads and their staff, the finance staff and their interns. Um, they put a lot of hard work into it and uh, the preparation of this budget reflects that work, their dedication and commitment. Also, uh, we wanna thank the Honorable Mayor and the members of the City Council for their continued support and direction uh, of the City's Capital Improvement Program. Uh, with that, I end my presentation. If there are any questions, I'd be happy to uh, answer any of those questions. Also, if you have a question pertaining to a particular project from one of the other departments, they are, on, they are available to answer your questions. Thank you. Sam, this is uh, Manny. Sam, I just I, yes. I do have a question. Uh, yeah. Uh, section two five four, Measure R, uh, money that's going to be uh, allocated uh, on Main, I believe, on Main Street. On Main Street? Yeah. Sure. Which is, which you indicated that's part uh, that's part of the five zone fund, Measure R. Am I correct? Uh, I'm sorry, Mayor. I kind of broke up there. Can, can oh, you? Uh, okay. Yeah. Just want, I want to bring up you. You were talking about uh, one section. It's numbered uh, two five four. I uh, measure off uh, money that's going to be used, uh, money that will be used in you know, 254. Good bit. Yeah, so. Yeah, 254. You mentioned that money that will be allocated there for this project on, on Main Street, and it's, it's money, money, funds that are being taken from, from the quiet zone. Am I correct? Oh, yeah. So, so it, yeah, that's that's measure M. It, it's two five, uh, fund 255. So um, yes, we're gonna be using some funding from the Measure M revenue bonds. The, the, you know, back in 2018, we bonded our uh, Measure M revenue. Um, so we have uh, about $7 million available for these projects through those bonds. So, so we will be using- So you're using, my reading is correct, you're using 
thousand. Is that what I'm? Am I reading this right or wrong? Uh, which one is that? On two five four. Two five four. So, um, so we're not using two. Do Do you have a a project? No. What I'm saying, you're using money that's coming out of the uh, quiet zone, where you said, "Am I correct for this for this one or not?" Might read that wrong. The, tra the traffic signal at all events at Main Avenue. Oh, yes. So uh, we are using some uh, Measure R funds for that, but that that is not coming from the Quiet Zone project. That okay. is from yeah. Alrighty, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, that's the only question. Thank I have. Council members have any questions? Any questions? Mayor, I have a question. Yes. Member, Monica Garcia. Thank you. Um, Sam, what about yes. the improvements, the street improvements to Pacific Avenue? I'm sorry if you talked about it and I, I didn't catch that. Yes, so those those improvements are um, currently ongoing now. So uh, we are about... Um, a third of the way through the project. We've done a lot of uh, concrete work there already. Uh, we should be completing that project in about a, a month or two. Uh, but yeah, uh, Pacific Avenue is going to be uh, paved and improved and should be completed within, uh, like I said, a month and a half. Okay, can you give me the stretch of Pacific Avenue that we're talking about specifically? Hold on, hold on real quick. Council member Monica Garcia, I'll ask everyone to please mute their mics because we're getting a lot of background feedback. Okay? Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, so specifically on Pacific Avenue, we're going from um, downing at the rail crossing down to the West Covina uh, limit, city limit. Okay, so from the tracks to the West Covina city limit. Yes. Okay, thank you. And then that should be completed in the next couple of months. Correct. Thank you, Sam. Okay. All right, thank you. Any other questions? Um, Mayor, this is Shannon. If I could ask Sam to give a quick update on the uh, bike share program. I think we're partnering with the San Gabriel uh, Valley Cog. Hey, Councilman Paul Hernandez would like that. All right. <laughs> yes. So, hi. Um, so, uh, we are um, working with the COG, trying to figure out uh, the best way to move forward with this project. It, everything is um, ready to go. We just need to schedule a kickoff. And due to the COVID uh, situation, uh, we haven't been able to touch base and get that going. But in terms of uh, the logistics, all, all of that is um, ready to go. As soon as we uh, get a chance to meet with Cog and discuss how uh, the kickoff is going to go, um, we'll be bringing that information back to the city council uh, for uh, some direction. All right, thank you, thank you very much. Mr. Mayor, if I may. Council Member Hurt. Thank you. Uh, and this message is for uh, Mr. Hofford. Can you please, you know, share with us a little bit what the UPS battery uh, replacement project is, and the, of course, the uh, use of force disciplinary tracking software. Yes, thank you, Council Member. The UPS battery system is a battery backup unit for the dispatcher, and um, its whole purpose is in the event our failure while the in, the in the little gap between being on the grid versus the generator coming online um, there will be a power loss so this unit covers that power loss the uh, the current unit was um, i think in the neighborhood of 15 years old and uh, we got it, our, our millions use worth out of it but it does need replacing we're we're currently renting one right now but uh, we'd like to buy one it's more fiscally responsible um, as far as the software goes <clears throat> um, this is software that a number of other police departments use. It's, um, it's very popular. It has two components to it. Um, one is called Blue Team, and Blue Team is software that all our supervisors will use to enter various different events into the, the program, any use of force, vehicle pursuits, um, things like that. Um, IA Pro is the other half of the software suite. IA Pro um, it's mostly for administrators, and what it does is, it's one, it's an organization of all of our investigations, but um, it also keeps track of 
of every officer's activities. So, you know, if, if there's a significant event, that's easy to pay attention to. But, you know, what if we have an officer who has, you know, a small handful of number of, of minor complaints that maybe came in through different supervisors that maybe not everyone's quite aware of, this software will track that for us and can send us up a red flag that maybe this officer needs some training or some sort of intervention before a big event like that happens. Um, so that's what the software is about. Perfect. And, and, and just for clarification, this is something we don't have now, right? Correct. We do not have this now. I appreciate that. Uh, my next question is for uh, Manny Carrillo and probably even Sam. Uh, for the improvements over at Morgan Park, um, considering that we're doing a lot of work there, uh, is it possible to begin, and I don't know what the time frame is there, but is it possible to do some of that work uh, as soon as possible instead of waiting, you know, sometime th in, later in the year, um, just considering that we have a little bit of, unfortunately, you know, uh, free time or uh, free space right now in the, in the gym and outside the, the park? Council, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Hernandez, yes, absolutely. That is staff's uh, mission to complete uh, before we open up back to the community. Thank you, appreciate it. No further questions. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Any other questions by council members? Seeing none at this point, we'll go ahead and move to the next subject. Uh, that would be closed session, I that believe. Okay. All right, so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and uh, um, move out of this Zoom and go on to uh, the closed session. So I'll see you in a bit. Thank you.